This is the bevel gear assembly mechanism. The bevel gear assembly mechanism has a different shaped gear where they are angled or beveled rather than flat like a, a standard gear. On the beveled assembly, you'll notice that there's an input shaft and an output shaft, input to output. The angle of input to, compared to the output, it is at 90 degrees. They are perpendicular to each other. This allows a mechanism to turn a 90 degree corner. If I turn the driven gear, the driver, it will turn the output and spin the output gear. The type of movement is rotary. These are both ro rotary movement, uh, ro rotating, they're both rotary movement. The gear ratio is one to one because both of these gears are the same size. You'll notice one full revolution on here will be one full revolution on here. That makes our speed constant. The speed from here to here will be constant because it's a one to one ratio and they are the same size. Our torque is also constant because the gears are the same size. The flow of power is reversible. If you turn the output, it will turn the input. So the notice the handle is turning because I'm turning the output. So the flow of power is reversible. Now, if we changed the size of one of these gears and we said that this input gear was larger, if I took this gear off and put a larger one on there, what would happen is it would change our speed and torque. The speed would be faster because the output would be smaller. That would increase our speed. But by having a larger gear on the input, it would decrease our torque or our power. So whatever we were trying to make turn over here would not be a, uh, a heavy item, but it would move very fast. Why is this important? Because whatever's on this end being turned, if we have a large gear to a small gear, it's going to turn it very fast. This would not help if it was turning something really heavy. We would have to put the larger gear on the output and the smaller gear on the input to turn something heavy because a larger gear on the output would increase our torque. This is the bevel gear assembly.